With competition in the post-COVID tourism market at fever pitch, the aim is to redefine WA's brand. Before border policies slammed the door shut, visitors spent $13.5 billion in WA annually. We want to double that in the next decade. Some homegrown star power roped in to help. When we got asked, uh, so, you know, this is where we wrote the song, this is where I you know, met my wife, my kids were born, and you know, what a great honour for this song to represent this great state. To the stripped back tune, Aboriginal performers Rika Hamaguchi and Ian Wilkes dance across the screen and across landscapes from Perth and Margaret River, Ningaloo Reef and the Kimberley. The tourism minister says 80% of visitors want an Aboriginal cultural experience, but only 20% find it. We're changing this. The ads will run interstate and in 11 different countries. The Premier, confident they differentiate his state from the accessible East Coast. Well, it has Western Australia written on it. Uh, that's a pretty good sign that it's about Western Australia um, and the images are all Western Australia and it'll direct people to our website. Uh, there's not much more you can do than that. The next reiteration of these campaigns will be the Travel Now book here. This is how you do it. Here's the special. And that's the tactical campaign that will roll out. But the initial stage is the new branding. Industry have welcomed the campaign and say it couldn't have come sooner. James Carmody. ABC News.